Hello and welcome to the Alexandra Wenman Show. I'm here with Raffaella Renzullo, who is the owner of Stepping Stones Greenwich, this absolutely beautiful Aladdin's cave of crystals and treasures. And I just want to say welcome, Raffaella. Thank you for speaking to us today. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about your spiritual journey so far and what led you to open this incredible treasure trove? Well, it was many years ago and um, I was looking for inspiration. I was reading uh, Louise Hay's book, uh, You Can Heal Your, your Life. And, um, and that's actually where the first um, time I thought about crystals and, um, and uh, the theory that um, crystals have a life, have an energy was totally new to me. So um, that's when I started. I started experimenting with them and I decided to sell a bit of them and, um, and everything came together quite quickly. And um, What made and you choose Greenwich? What, what, what about this area kind of brought you here? By chance I came here while I was reading this book I, uh, to visit a friend who had opened a second hand record shop down here mm -hmm. and he had a little room free upstairs and um, he said if you want to start a business you can, you can hire this little room and that's how it went. And a couple of years later, he left, and I took on the shop. So it was uh, this exact shop that, that yes. is where you started, this in one. the room upstairs? Yes, in the little wow. room upstairs. Uh, I spun it to the next room after a little while, and, and then he left, and I took on the shop. And gradually the crystals took over. <laughs> yes, the beginning was rather empty, but now you can see it's really full of uh, amazing crystals everywhere. Yeah. It's brilliant. And so, you know how you, you speak about crystals, obviously, I mean, I know because I teach about crystals as well, it, you speak about the crystals having a, a consciousness and a life of their own. How, how do you experience crystal energy personally? How, how was your first experience with crystals and, and how has it evolved from there? Yeah, at first, uh, the first thing is the, um, is the uh, attractive look. <laughs> so I'm attracted by the, the way they look, the colors, their peculiarities. And then I, I hold them and uh, meditate with them or just surround myself with them and uh, I see what effect that has on me. Um, and that's how you really, we advise people to choose them as well. They kind of, you know, you have to feel drawn to them. You have to something in them draws them to you, and um, in a way they choose you. And and then often they turn out to be just the right crystal for you. Uh, you have to trust your intuition and um, and be sure in yourself that your intuition guides you and helps you finding just what is the right thing to you at this moment. Because uh, lots of people look for uh, the astrological sign, or um, um, yeah, or they specifically want something that is specifically for that type of thing. But it's best if they choose it uh, instinctively because uh, their, their higher self guides them uh, to what is right for them now at that particular moment. Totally, and different crystals have obviously different healing properties, so they all have their own kind of you know, healing properties as a collective or as a type of crystal. But do you believe that each individual crystal has its own specific kind of energy or consciousness or personality, I suppose, in a way? Yes, even within the same type of crystal, there is uh, the one that sticks out and has a particular energy. And so, yes, that's how it works. And uh, they have their personality. And each piece is different. It's, they have their almost like their DNA. It's, uh, so it's, there is no one crystal that is exactly the same as another. Yeah. So yeah. choosing it by yeah. feeling for it really enables you to find the right one for you. And how did you choose this beautiful piece of iron pyrite that you're wearing today? Well, iron pyrite is uh, amazing to um, protect your aura. To it gives you energy. It's um, okay attracts prosperity towards you, it's a talisman, um, it energizes, it. it does so many things, so many amazing things that, um, you know, wearing it just lifts you up, really. And, um, and uh, but with this experimenting and keeping it on the counter, it really <laughs> draws this prosperity towards you. Um, but protection as well, because we all need protection, we can, you know, these type of businesses need protection, so we always have some behind the counter and all around. And I have a big one at home that is a special piece. Like
And what's your favourite crystal of all time? What's your What's the one that that seems to draw you in time after time? It's not one type of crystal. It's uh, a crystal, a particular crystal um, that I find because um, I see so many and uh, occasionally I just you know that is for me. That is my crystal. I love Larima. Um, it's a very spiritual one. It's um, I cut the shop, um, the front of the shop. The color is particular Larima color. Um, it's yeah, it's, it helps contacting um, angelic energies and um, also heals the heart as well Larry from, man, for yeah. past relationships and uh, or any hurt that you might have had in the past. So it's it's quite amazing. It has a very very high energy. Um, and those watching, it's it's uh, it's also known as the Atlantean stone. It's a very particular, beautiful, pale, foamy blue, isn't it? Yeah, so and there isn't that much of it. It's quite new, just in the uh, steampunk recently, but it's a really amazing stone. It's really beautiful. But there isn't much of it, and it's probably going to run out soon, but uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, uh, it all looks different. Like, uh, one piece can look completely different from another, mm -hmm. and it has amazing patterns as well. So Raffaella, what sorts of uh, uh, Larima, how does Larima differ as a stone? Can you get polished and rough varieties? And Yes, we have here, for example, some uh, natural pieces that haven't been tumbled or polished or anything, just as they were, uh, come out of the mine. Uh, and then some really lovely tumbled ones that brings up the colour even better, even more. It's almost like a marble, isn't it, when you see it in its raw form? It's yeah, kind of, yeah, of course, okay. they're also they're different grades in, yeah. in, any, in any, yeah. any state, so you might find one that has more colour even in the natural state. But this is what we have here. But these ones, they were obviously a better grade, higher grade, yeah. and they've been tumbled, and so they look really lovely. Um, amazing color, and the best pieces are usually used for uh, jewelry. Like, uh, so we have some pieces up here, don't we? Yeah, those three there, those three pendants are really beautiful. Um, Look at the colors of and it, the patterns. It? Yeah, yeah it is almost patterns. turquoise in there. And you can, if you compare it to the polished stone, mm. I mean, you really do get different, different colors and different textures of it, don't you? Different yeah, grades. Yeah. Great. Beautiful. We have some lovely rings as well in so this got, cabinet oh, got here. rings down here. Yeah, uh, just here in the middle. This round one. To me, it looks like you know, it looks like the sea. It looks like sea foam as it crashes on the on the shore. Yeah. And sometimes you can see almost a picture in there, like that ring that's been the, with the round stone. Yeah, the round some, one. Yeah, you can see things in there as well. Really, really interesting to look at as well. Yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah, that's it. Just the ones you're looking at now. Yeah. And so, with with Larimar, what are some of the the healing properties of Larimar? What what can it be beneficial for? Do you? Well, it energizes all the higher chakras. Um, uh, so the the heart, the throat the third eye and the crown chakra and um, so it raises your vibration so by wearing it you absorb this vibration and uh, helps uh, enhancing your spirituality. So do you think the fact that Larimar has only fairly recently been discovered has significance for what's going on on our planet at this time? Yes I think so, I think that our consciousness is ready for it now and, uh, um, and for yeah, for our consciousness to raise in a particular way at this particular moment, yes. Um, the, the properties are, the uh, it stimulates the heart chakra, the heart, higher part of the heart, ch uh, heart chakra, and uh, the throat, the third eye, the crown. So it's a really high vibration stone that brings you up with it. You know, so everyone on the planet really should be wearing a piece of Larimar <laughs> right now yeah, to help right with now, yes. yeah. um, It also has a very uh, repairing effect. It repairs um, anything that has happened in this chakra, especially the heart. Uh, any past hurts, uh, past relationships. It also helps you communicate with the angels. Um, and, uh, Which I love. <laughs> ISP as well. Yeah. Yeah, so and 
it has an aura that is, you feel it when you when you hold it. Anyway, so you can I can feel it now. It's yeah. Yeah. amazing. But Raffaella, you're much more than just a crystal shop owner, aren't you? You you have quite a quite an extensive healing background yourself, and and you actually worked as a healer here for a, lo a long time, didn't you? Yes. Uh, in the beginning, I was drawn towards uh, alternative therapies and uh, healing. So I did for about 15 years um, do Reiki, practice Reiki, um, aromatherapy. Uh, sports massage, reflexology, all that stuff of things, and uh, it was very rewarding, but also tiring. You know, my energy was taken up a lot by this by this healing. Um, now I have so many wonderful heal healers working here, <laughs> so I don't need to do that. Uh, I let them do it. She's a good boss too. <laughs> <laughs> and I just run the shop. Really, there is so much to do. Um, with just the management and the uh, daily running of the shop that I, I no longer have the time to do it. But I did enjoy that part of the work as well. Uh, it connected me with the clients that were coming in, with people, and uh, I had a special relationship with many customers, so yeah. But can you just explain for our viewers what sorts of healing and readings and therapies that you offer here? Because it's so much more than a crystal shop here at, here at Stepping Stones. Yeah, we offer a wide range. Uh, and each uh, therapist or reader that works here has their own speciality, their own um, um, set of therapies or, uh, or skills that they bring in. So some are uh, medium, clairvoyant, um, psyche readers, they use tarot cards. Some they don't use tarot cards, they just use oracle cards, but they use the crystal ball or um, the crystals or numerology, palmistry. Um, and then we do, of course, angelic Reiki healing, angelic Reiki courses. Um, past life regression is very popular, it's amazing. Um, how many people are drawn to that stone. now. Uh, future life progression. Um, the list is very long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plus we do therapies, aromatherapy, sports massage, energy healing, Reiki healing, um, psychic surgery. Psychic surgery. <laughs> psychic surgery is yeah. another one, yes. Yeah. Akashic, uh, Akashic readings, Akashic record readings. Yes, yeah. yeah. Theta healing. Um, Yes, I can't remember all of them, but yeah, each therapist brings in their own experience and their own um, set of skills, and it's quite, yeah, it's quite complete, it makes everything um, more interesting, because uh, clients have a lot to choose from. It's wonderful. And out of all the crystals here, because this is like possibly one of the biggest array of crystals in any crystal shop I've ever seen, and I know it's really dangerous when I come to work here because I always end up buying something. Um, <laughs> uh, the crystals do talk to you very loud and clear. And some of them are actually museum grade, you know, they're very specific, special. Very, very high, high pieces, very high pieces, yeah. Very high quality and uh, really amazing. Um, are there, are there it, it changes all the time, you know, they, they come and go all the time, so there is always something new that comes in that I haven't seen before. And is there a top, are there like a top three most popular crystals that you would say kind of ha kind of draw people in more than more than most? Yeah, there is always something that, something that we haven't seen before or heard before. <laughs> people come in and they you know they always request some new things which is interesting because it makes me go out and, and find more. Uh, but of course the uh, amethyst has always been very popular and it still is, especially in a, in a dome form, in a geode form now. Um, and, uh, and it's not so much a type of stone, but in the, the shape that for the stone comes in, like the palm stones are used a lot now because they can, use, they can be placed on the body, but they can also be used for massage or to, for, for healing. Um, um, rose quartz, again, it's a, a wonderful stone that comes in so many shapes and forms and uh, it's, it's an amazing healing stone, so that is always very popular as well. It has been and it still is. And the crystal quartz, the um, crystal quartz, but also the Larima ones, we have some amazing 
pieces now that just come in. Um, like oh, this one, wow. this um, Lemurian seed. Yeah, yeah. Lemurian oh, seed. that's this, beautiful. This piece. Piece. It's a double terminated piece and it's completely natural, not being polished or anything. Um, so beautiful. And these all the very special energy. They are the oldest. Um, oh, you can feel that. In the, yeah. Mm. The all the crystals in the world and um, yeah, the. There are so many <laughs> that even come to mind at the moment, but yeah, emerald and, and mica, lipidolite, um, so many. And there's agate. crystal skulls and animals. Yes, and agate at the moment also is very popular. And it, there's so many different types of agates um, are requested now. Um, and that, that is very grounding and very earth healing. So it helps the earth as well. And, but it helps us keeping more grounded, uh, especially when we do meditation or uh, spiritual work. And some of the spirit amethyst is beautiful. This is celestite, yes. Oh, I did get another celestite. Oh, this that's is another special. amazing piece. Look, oh, this is spirit quartz. I have one big piece in the window display. Yeah. This is a, a special type of um, amethyst. It's mixed with citrine, isn't it? Spirit quartz? Um, I think it's like a mixture of amethyst and citrine that grows together. It's like energy. It's like champagne. Yeah. It's really f like fairy-like energy. Oh, wow. This is quartz, phalerite and parite together. They often, in the mineral world, often they come together. Um, and it's quite... Oh, wow. Look. I like through that. But I, yeah, see, it's got almost oh, blue. Um, it's beautiful. Trying to see the red line. Yeah. 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 Then, uh, and then the amethyst geodes you might want to film because she mentioned them. Yes. Yeah, the amethyst geodes are uh, like this one. Look, if you can see through this one in, if you take it from the right place. Oh, sorry. This is pink amethyst. Oh, that's my favorite. I've got a piece of that. So beautiful. Pink amethyst, that one. It's quite yeah, rare, isn't sports. it, the pink one? Yes, um, I haven't seen that many uh, pieces. Uh, sometimes uh, can, they can be small pieces. They don't have to be big, but, you know, and very unusual. Like you were saying, that cinnabar, I had it recently, but it's gone now. This is emerald um, in its matrix. See, so you got the rock. There's some mineral, some some in there, but there's also the uh, the proper crystal sticking out like that. Uh -huh. I have a long, uh, quite a wide range of uh, natural crystals that are not being tumbled. Bumblebee jasper. I was looking at that in Australia. Isn't that gorgeous? Bumblebee jasper. That's right. Yeah. It's so beautiful. There are some that I haven't taken out yet. There's a big piece of uh, fossil wood distal. I haven't taken that out yet. Just, you, this is it's red aventurine. That's very unusual. Look, it's because yeah, you only ever see it green, don't you? Yes. Um, again, a bit marble-like, but pink, and it has these amazing shiny pieces attached to it. It looks like mica, but I'm not sure that it is. So, Raffaella, can you tell people how they can uh, find out about more about Stepping Stones? Can, can you uh, share the website details? And Yes, the website is uh, www.steppingstonesgreenwich.co.uk. It's a long word. <laughs> um, we are on Facebook, of course, at Stepping Stones Greenwich. Uh, we are 10 minutes away from the Jubilee Line, the Katik Sark station, so it's easy to get here. It's a lovely walk down the river to come here. Um, and we're near this lovely Greenwich Market as well, it's open on Sunday, so we're open seven days a week, all year round, except Christmas and New Year, uh, and Easter as well. Um, and um, yes, yeah, so that's how you find us, you know, Google, of course. Just stepping stones, Greenwich, where you found us. And um, 
But I would just recommend come on down, come here because you want to be in the shop. You, yes. you can look online, but to actually be here and soak up this beautiful, these beautiful vibes. It's uh, so it's ninety seven Trafalgar Road. Ninety seven Trafalgar Road, yes. Greenwich, or Greenwich. near Mays Hill Station as well from London Bridge. Yes, two minutes from Mays Hill Station, which is a, a overground station, um, and is the station of the Greenwich. Uh, and that's literally two minutes away, so it's an easy way to come from Cannon Street or Charlie Cross uh, or even London Bridge. Raffaella, thank you so much for talking to us today. It's been an absolute pleasure and it's been wonderful getting all of your amazing knowledge on so many of these precious, precious stones, these crystals here at Stepping Stones. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. It's been a real pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Molly. Thank you for that.